just keeps going for miles We're gonna get there Welcome to beautiful BC, Canada. We are here today on the grounds of the Sentinel Wellness Retreat Center with an energizing and strengthening yoga workout practice. This class will be about finding the perfect balance between cultivating lower body strength and welcoming greater flexibility, leaving you feeling amazing and ready to take on the day. So if you're ready to challenge yourself and reconnect, grab your mat and let's begin. All right, friends, let's begin today standing at the top of your mat. So coming in over with your feet together and then opening the palms of your hands forward and just taking a second to close your eyes, finding this grounding, this presence within yourself. And then take a deep breath in as you reach both arms up to the sky, elongating through the spine. And then exhale, palms of your hands together, bring them over to your heart. And once again, deep breath in, big reach, arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, palms together, dive yourself all the way down into your forward fold. Taking an inhale, just coming up halfway. And then exhale, releasing into your forward fold, stepping back into high plank position. Taking a gentle chaturanga or knees chest chin if you want to start slow. And then extending and opening into your upward facing dog. Exhale, pressing into the hands and then releasing the toes, downward facing dog. Taking this moment to really feel how your body's responding to this. Feel free to walk your dog out on one spot, bending one knee at a time, pressing the opposite heel into the mat. Feeling a nice release through the back of your legs, your hamstrings, your calves. Pressing both heels down as you take another inhale. Exhale, let it go. Slowly on your next inhale, come on down over to your knees. And then bring your weight over towards your left knee. Right leg extends all the way out, reaching your right arm up to the sky. Now from here, all we're going to do is just lift that straight leg up and lower for one. Lift and two lift and three so starting to begin with our lower body strengthening here working the outer thigh or glute as you lift the leg up and lower making sure that your core is engaged here your top knee should be facing the same direction as both of your hips now lift that leg up hold flex your foot engaging through your core don't drop that leg and then from here that top arm is going to come over towards your waistline and all you're gonna do is just give me little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Point the toes. And then bring that top knee forward, bending the knee and extending the bottom leg. Reaching the top arm all the way towards the front of your mat. Big stretch of the body here. And then come all the way down over to your hip and elbow. We're going to work the inner thigh. Extending that bottom knee now. You're going to lift it and lower for one. Lift and two. So now we're working through the inner thigh. Toning and engaging that part of the body. Your top leg is bent. And your heel is grounded on the floor. Working through the inner thigh, lift and lower. Now you're gonna lift and just circle that leg forward. Circle one, circle two, so draw a little circle. Four, five, six, seven, stay on your hip. Eight, nine, ten. Now reverse it backwards, circle back. Two, three, four, five, six, you got it. Seven, eight, nine and ten well done from here just stay where you are lift that leg reach that top arm up to the sky and then we're going to do a quick little transition through the side plank so stack your feet on that same elbow you're just going to lift both hips up top arm reaches to the sky and then it's going to reach towards the front of your mat and then you're going to transition to both elbows and then you're going to come on up to your high plank and then take a flow you got this 
Chaturanga Dandasana, take it down. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, press it back, release into your downward facing dog. Awesome, just open up your feet a little wider if you can. Let that sternum fall towards the mat. Take a deep breath in into your body and let everything go. Now I'm gonna show you the first variation of our next exercise. So feel free to follow along. You're gonna bend your knees, step your right foot, left foot to the front into a Malasana yogic squat. If squatting this low is too difficult for you, you come up halfway and just stay halfway there. All right, so do whatever feels best for your body. Now once you got to your ultimate squat position, then come on down with both hands, step back with the right foot, left foot back into plank. Repeat, left, right now, Malasana or half Malasana if you need to. Hands down, step back, step back. Variation two, a little bit more challenging to hop right into that squat or Malasana preferably. Hands down, hop back to plank. Ready? Let's keep going. Hop forward or step and back into plank. And into squat, hands in prayer. Hands down, plank position. So you can take this as slow as you need to. If you are stepping one foot at a time, maybe your pace will be a little bit slower and that's okay. Just listen to your body. Keep going, getting as low as you can with your hips. Each time you come into your Malasana squat, jump back. Good, hands in prayer when you come to your squat variation. And plank. And yogic squat. Now hold it here now. If you're in that halfway position, see if you can go a little bit lower with your hips. Trying your best to keep your heels grounded on the floor. Pushing your elbows into the knees, really encouraging a deeper opening of the hips. And then from here, hands are gonna come back onto the mat. You're gonna step back into plank position and take your flow, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and exhale, push it back. Downward facing dog, awesome. Take a deep breath in into the belly. Exhale, let it go. Bend your knees. And then from here, we're going to get into our other side of our lower body strengthening. So if you are on your left knee, this time you're gonna go onto your right or vice versa. Top leg is extended, deep breath in. Exhale, kick and lower for one. Kick and two. Kick and three. Very nice, keep going. And four, your top arm is reaching up to the sky. You're engaging your core muscles here. Just working that leg, working the outer thigh, working the glute, as well as your oblique muscles. Keep going, kick. Now hold it there, flex your foot. Top arm is going to come over towards your waistline. And all we're gonna do is do baby pulses, ready? Let's go ahead and bring that hand down. And let's pulse that leg up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Hold that leg there and then bend that top knee, ground the heel and the foot to the floor. Bottom leg extends all the way back as you reach that top arm towards the front of your mat. Big stretch of the side body here. Keep reaching and then drop yourself all the way down onto your hip and then onto your elbow. Top arm is going to reach around and grab that front ankle and let's work the inner thigh, reaching that leg up and down. Lift and two, lift and three and four, you got this. Five, six, so working the inner thigh now to do all the work. Eight, nine, try to stay on your hip in a straight line, 10, Beautiful, now lift that leg, circle it forward for one, two, three, baby circle, four, five, six, don't rush, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now reverse the circle to the back for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, awesome, lift that leg, hold it there, one last breath as you reach that top arm up to the sky. Awesome, and then we're gonna transition back through that side elbow plank, so stack your feet onto that elbow underneath you, lift the hips and reach that top arm up to the sky, side elbow plank, 
Now again, we're just using this more of a transition rather than a full hold. So lift the hips if you can. And then you're going to release back over to both elbows and then transition yourself up into high plank to resume with your flow. So come on up to your high plank. Now I'm just going to switch sides so I'm facing the same direction to the top of my mat. However, you stay in your high plank. And then from here we take our Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. And exhale, push back, release into your downward facing dog. Taking a deep breath in here. Let it go, connecting to your body, to how you're feeling at this moment right now in your practice. Take another deep breath in, lift the heels, bend your knees, hop towards the front of your mat into that Malasana squat once again. So again, you can come up down halfway if you need to, or do your best to see how far you can drop your hips. And then taking your left hand to the mat, right arm reaches up to the sky as you bring your gaze up. And then just switch to the other side, right hand to the mat, left arm reaches up. A little pull and reach towards each side of your hip. Beautiful, come back to center. Palms together into that Malasana squat. We're gonna go into our Malasana squat. So what you're gonna do is keep your toes and knees facing outward, reach up to the sky. Exhale, squat as low as you can. Big reach up and lower for two. So the challenge of this particular movement is to use the strength in your lower body to lift yourself up from a very low malasana squat all the way up to a standing position. Keep going. Lift up, reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, squat it down. And lift up. And squat. And lift up. Each time you come up, try to do a big circle with the arms. Come on down to your malasana. Keep going, we're almost done. Keeping your toes pointed slightly away from your body, your knees in that same direction. Good. And lift up, reach up. Use the strength of your lower body, of your glutes. Come on down now into your malasana and hold. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat. Lift your hips. Heel toe your feet so they're on the mat and then you're gonna hop or step back to plank chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And exhale, push back, release into your downward facing dog. Breathe it out. This is your moment to reconnect with your body and your breath. Take a pause. Take a deep breath in. Exhale from here. Reach your left leg up to the sky. Bend your knee and then I want you to step it towards the left side of your mat into your lizard lunge. Both hands are staying grounded on the mat. And just breathe here, feeling a nice stretch in your psoas, in your hip flexor. You can bend that bottom knee to the mat to make this a little bit easier if you wish. But truly, I just want you to feel it out. If you want, you can press your left hand into your left knee and add a little bit more of a release of the hip away from the body. However, if you're feeling a deep enough stretch and just keeping the knee facing forward and the foot grounded, you can do that as well. So really play with this position here. Notice how your body responds to it. Now to go a little bit deeper, we're gonna take that left arm and then see if you can reach back and grab the back heel. Once you can reach, then you're gonna think about pulling the heel towards the glute to add even a deeper stretch into your quadricep. With each exhalation, see if you can pull the heel a little bit closer. Awesome. And then once you're ready, you can release your foot, hand comes back down onto your mat, tuck your back toes underneath, lift the back knee off the floor. Now ground your hands into the mat, you're going to bring all of your weight there, extend that front knee into plank, and then step it back into your lizard. Extend back into plank, and lizard for two. You got three more, and three, so this requires a lot of core and upper body stabilization. And four, last one, extend into your plank, back to your lizard, and five, hold it here. All you're going to do is just step back into plank and then step your other leg forward for one. Step back into plank, same leg forward for two. Plank, lizard three, so just a quick little switch of both legs, four, and then five, and six, 
keep going and seven and eight engage in your core nine hold it there now so now we're going right into the lizard on the other side drop the back knee onto the mat and this is where you get to have a little play time you can either push that right knee away from your body really going deep into the hip or you can keep it straight as it was and just focus on releasing the hip flexor just listen to how your body feels in this particular position if you are working with pushing the right knee away from your body see if you can roll that front foot to the lateral side the pinky toe as it'll allow you a little bit more space to go deeper if that's what you're looking for and then from here reach and grab the back heel let's begin to go deeper into the quadricep pulling the heel in towards your glute with each exhalation awesome job deep breath in exhale go a little bit more and then release awesome you guys both hands grounded on the mat now lift the back knee off the floor we're going to extend into plank and then step your right foot forward so just work with the one leg and two so press into the hands extend and lift that right leg back and three press it back and four and press it back and five hold that lizard let's do a lizard switches back to plank left foot forward back to plank right foot forward keep going plank left foot plank right foot plank left foot plank right foot so you're just switching from left to right with a quick little plank hold in between last two let's take it to the left plank and to the right now you're gonna step back to plank and give me a chaturanga upward facing dog and exhale push it back releasing into your downward facing dog breathe it out well done just find a moment to connect to your body and your breath and then let's go a little deeper into the glutes we're gonna just take your right knee and bring it over towards your right thumb grounding the shin bone square off your hips your back leg is extended and then come on down with your entire body over towards your pigeon pose so your hands can stay next to your body or they can stack in front of you whatever feels comfortable here for your body if you need to use a little prop underneath your right hip like a pillow or a bolster or a yoga block feel free to do that as well most importantly is what we're thinking about now is breathing deeply into the right glute muscle after all of those squats and planks and lunges we want to breathe as much oxygen into that area of the body to release any tension or any soreness you may be feeling welcoming fresh oxygen into the body into the blood into the muscles inhaling deeply and let it go noticing where you're holding the most tension here once you can pinpoint that exact location see if you can breathe a little deeper into that area of your body awesome now once you're ready to come out we're just gonna press and lift the upper body first tuck your back toes step back into your downward facing dog and just flow it out chaturanga up dog and exhale downward facing dog wonderful let's go right into the other side left knee to your left thumb grounding the shin bone walking the back leg as far back as you can so you're in a nice comfortable square position and then come on down with your elbows and your body into your pigeon on your left side and the same thing here close your eyes and just focus on the breath the pure movement of oxygen coming into the body as you inhale and letting it all go as you exhale and with the release of your breath let go of tension let go of any stiffness you may be feeling in the body let go of any energy that no longer serves you today use your own conscious breath to release everything 
that needs to be released. Breathe it in. And let it go. Let your body relax deeper and deeper into this posture. Inhale. And then exhale. Slowly, let's come on out. Lifting your upper body, tucking your back toes, and stepping back into your downward facing dog. Final flow here, come through into plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog as you open up the body and the heart. And exhale, let yourself go into your downward facing dog. Great. And then once you're ready, all you're gonna do is just bend your knees and come on over to your seated position at the center of your mat. Cross your feet in front of you, just find a nice grounded position here. Resting your hands on the knees, closing your eyes, and just finding a moment to center yourself, to ground yourself. Close your eyes, just take a deep breath in. Let it go. Take another deep breath in. This time I want you to take a big reach with both arms up to the sky. Elongate the spine. And then exhale, bringing your hands back down towards your heart bowing down towards your own heart, thanking yourself for your beautiful practice today. Thank you so much for joining me on your mat today. I hope you feel refreshed and energized to take on whatever the day may bring your way. I send you love and light. Namaste. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean the world to us if you would click the little red subscribe button as it will help our content rise to the top. Sending you all our love. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon.